Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got Team of the Week Tuesday. We got the Team of the Week Morning Reveal. We got the two Legend Flashback players. We got the current LTD of the Week, or the current Hero of the Week. And then we got the past current LTD, which is, you know, a player that currently still plays, but he had an LTD performance in the past. So overall, just a great Team of the Week Tuesday. You know, we're going to go through everything. Check everything out. You know, we have a big week this week. We have uh, Thanksgiving coming up on Thursday. We got Black Friday on Thursday night, which is also Thanksgiving night. A lot of good stuff coming. We should have the reveal potentially tomorrow night or Thursday morning, depending. No, or was it tomorrow? I forget. It was either tomorrow night or Wednesday morning. No, I think it's Wednesday morning. Okay. I think it was Wednesday morning. But again, I'll let you guys know. You'll know more. You'll know more pretty soon. But regardless, guys, get into the Poodle Squad shout out for today, which is going to go out to. Someone in the comment section, which would be the Penguin75. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support on the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much. If you guys want a chance to be shouted out, all you gotta do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn on that noti bell. But that's about it for that. If you guys need coins, pick up anything for Team of the Week Tuesday. You can buy the players directly on the Mutt Reserve down below as well. You can buy the players on there. You can use coins. If you need coins or trading, head over down below and make sure you use code Poodle 15% off. But yeah, let's get into the video. Let's go check out the new players. Let's head on over. First player for Team of the Week Tuesday as our flash. We've got Antrell Roll, 92 speed. He is a cornerback, by the way, guys. So Antrell Roll looks super solid so far. You know, if you guys have watched football, you know of Antrell Roll. I'm excited to see. The stats are here, so let's get into it. It's a 92 speed, 90 excel, 90 agility, 90 jumping, 90 play rec, 91 man coverage, 88 zone coverage, 87 press. Now, to look, to look deeper, right? Personally, I'm a little disappointed. I feel like we've been, we've been going backwards, right? So we're getting these like super dominant Team of the Week cards. Like they were looking pretty good. We are getting just some super dominant players in general. And now it's looking like they're heading a little bit backwards, right? So we have a 92 overall player. And he has one singular stat above now. He's one singular stat that is 92 and nothing above, which means how do you get an average up if there's no above cards to balance out the averages below, like the 88 and the 87? Yes, powder being chemmed up, he will get to about a 96, 97 man. He'll get to about a 93, 94 zone. He will get to about a 93. 92 press yes he will be good do i think he's a super dominant corner no kind of looks like a more budgety version of drc personally uh he's good i think he's good but i don't think i don't think he's insane i do think he's held back a little bit by that zone and man and press because if that was a little bit higher you could potentially get to 99 right like if, if his if his man was 93 could get to 99 uh because you couldn't you know chem him up power him up so hopefully we do end up seeing you know some better cards in the future but andrew roll's not bad if you have a cardinal steam team not bad at all their team is actually looking a little bit better this year than the most. You got Hopkins, you got Fitzgerald, you got Kirk. Um, of course, those <laughs> Fitzgerald it was a joke. But Kyler Murray, 95 Kyler Murray is coming in the future at some point, so that's going to be super fun on a theme team as soon as that does come. But moving on from that, guys, let's get on over to the next card, which is going to be Greg Jennings, wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers. Now, this is actually pretty exciting. Greg Jennings has always been a fan favorite. Now, I just saw some stats I don't like, but it is what it is. 92 speed, 88 jumping, 89 catch. 88 catch and traffic, 91 spec, 84 short route running, 86 medium route running, 92 deep route running. The only way in hell this card even gets to become decent. First off, this card is DK Metcalf, but slower, right? DK Metcalf has the same bad route running all around. DK Metcalf has the same high 80 catch and traffic, but DK Metcalf is going to be, I believe, taller if not the same height. I think taller though, and he's going to have a plus two speed on him. So, oh, plus one speed, sorry, powered up. So, I mean, but at the end of the day, if you do, if you put play fake on him, and you power up and chem him up, you will get his catching up a bit. You will get his medium route running above a 90, and you will get his speed to 93, which makes him like a speed steer that can still kind of catch and route run a little bit. But I like my receivers to have all three route running thresholds. You know, what if you're liking that? What if you're what if you you see everyone backing up and your best receiver, all you need is a quick little slant from him in traffic real quick, but this slant is just too slow because they don't route run them properly. I mean it is what it is, but definitely Greg Jennings is not as exciting as I thought. But let's move on to the current and then the LTD current. Guys, yeah, so for the first one of the first guys, I did miss two. I'll get back to them. It was Thielen and Dom Dami Wilson or something like that for the Cowboys. I'll get back to it. I have them at the end of the screenshot list. But we got Taysom Hill as the first guy. Now Taysom Hill does get an 85 overall quarterback card, which is pretty cool. 89 speed is actually super high for Taysom Hill, uh, considering he's a quarterback, didn't think he'd get that speed. 90 throw power. Not not the best accuracy. I mean, he's going to be more like a maybe a wild card ass quarterback. Someone that, like, he can make the throw if you need him to, but he also needs to be more focused on running. So, as a wild card guy, probably pretty good. Nothing too much there. Travis Kelsey, just a plus one, of course. So, that means Travis Kelsey does get a plus one on his most feared overall card. So, you know, this card doesn't really matter. It's about the plus one. I do have his power-up screenshots at the end. I'll show you guys that as well. Olivier Vernon, 
Uh, not horrible. I mean, you know, good power move, decent speed, not great block shed, regular card. 89 overall, though, which isn't bad at all. Terrell Edmonds, strong safety for the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, he's actually not bad. 92 speed, 92 excel, 93 hit power. Going to be a great budget piece user card as, like, a linebacker. And uh, if he had a power-up, it'd be really, really good. Because if he had a power-up, he would get to 85 zone plus plus 5 for the lockdown maxed out. You could potentially get him to a 90 zone with 93 speed, 93 excel, 93 power. He would be probably the best safety in the game. That'd be unreal. Uh, Keenan Allen is going to be your hero for the week. 92 overall route runner. Now, here's, here, here's what concerns me, right? So, he's called a route runner, and his route running isn't really that good. And he's one of the best route runners in the NFL. But let's start off. So, he has 90 speed, 90 jumping, 89 catching, 90 catching traffic, 88 spec, 90 short route running, 89 medium route running, and 86 deep. Now, yes, he will get all the route running thresholds chemmed up, but you think he'd start with them. So, powered up and chemmed up, he will end up getting the medium powered up. He will end up getting the deep powered up and chemmed up. So, let's go deep. He'll get all the route running thresholds, have all the catching thresholds. And you'll have the spec catch threshold go deep, I believe. The only issue is that he only has a 91 speed, which is you know pretty low, uh, considering we have guys like Metcalf in the 94, you know, the power up, and we have McLaurin at the 93, 94, potentially have Marquise Brown in 93 to 95. Um, yeah, Keenan Allen's not gonna be that usable. Not 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 too great. I wouldn't personally use him on a Chargers theme team. Herbert probably a little fun, but I can't see myself probably leaning towards or using a Keenan Allen card. And guys, for the LTD current, we have Mike Evans. Now, Mike Evans was a little weird. Was not expecting. Now, Crayla did say in the stream that, you know, people need been asking for wide receivers to throw to, so here you go. Here, here's what we're giving you guys. But people have been asking for Calvin Johnson and Randy Moss. No one's been asking for Mike Evans and he now. Now, Mike Evans had 49 yards and one touchdown this week. So, obviously, you know, this is from a past week. So, I don't know what he did in the past years, but he must have had a crazy week on uh, one of the past years. Now, Keenan Allen this week. Keenan Allen... I didn't. I mean, I expect him to get a card too. I mean, he had 16 catches for 145 a touchdown, but I didn't think he'd get the, you know, the hero. But Mike Evans, 91 speed, 94 jumping. Now he's better than Keenan Allen at least. 89 catching, 93 catching traffic, 93 spec catch, 87 short running, 89 medium running, 80, uh, 91 deep. So you're gonna have to go play fake on him, powered up and counted up. So he will get all the route running thresholds. He'll get 92 speed, 95 jumping. He'll get 90 catch, uh, 90 catching, 94 catch traffic, 94 spec. Honestly, guys, he's going to be an insane red zone threat. Because he's like six foot four, six. He's somewhere between six foot three and six foot five. I wish I get with him, but he's crazy tall. He's got crazy good spec catch and catch traffic. He's gonna get the routing threshold. And two speed is honestly good enough. Mike Evans actually looks really good. He kind of looks like Gronk there to me with the face right there. But Mike Evans is gonna be actually a pretty good receiver. He's not bad, honestly. They haven't really given Mike Evans good cards in years, so it's really nice to see. Because as you guys do know, Mike Evans always gets screwed with speed. They always make him so slow that he's not even usable. So it is nice to finally see Mike Evans get some love with speed. And some other stats here as well. Great catching. And it gets the route running. Usually, they don't give him speed of route running. It's like, yeah, I don't want a standstill statue that can catch. But this card's actually not bad. I mean, I, it's usable. I don't know if I'd use it, but it's usable. And he gets to a 94 overall as well, which is, you know, pretty high. But, guys, that pretty much does wrap up our team of the week. Now, we do have Adam Thielen here. He does get up to a 92 powered up now. 2,900 is the upgrade option. He gets to a 90 speed. You know, not, nothing too crazy there. I personally probably, again, wouldn't use him. Uh, but he's there. And we got Travis Kelsey gets to a 92 overall as well. Gets to an 86 speed. Gets to 91 catching. I mean, again, still too still too slow. There's tight ends like Heap and a bunch of other guys that are already faster off the rip. I recommend you go with them. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, turn on that noti bell. Comment down below Poodle Squad and like the video so you will have a chance to shout out today's Poodle Squad. And if you guys haven't already, comment down below. Let me know who's your favorite team of the week this week and who was your predictions. Like, who do you think had to get one and didn't this week? Because I feel like some people are probably upset about a few guys here. It wasn't a crazy week in the NFL, though, stat wise. No, actually, a sad week in terms of some injuries like Burrow. And a few others. But moving on from that, guys, that's about it for the video. Make sure to subscribe. Come join the fam. If you need coins for any of these cards, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle. 15% off your order. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.